In this video, we will be starting a new chapter, that is chapter number 9 of NCRT, Data Handling. Now see, what is data? Let's, let's understand what is data. Raw facts and figures. See, whenever you go somewhere and you collect the data, let's say you are in a school and your class teacher asks you, to calculate the number of students present in the class, how many number of students are boys, how many number of students are girls, and the total number of students present in the class. So in that case, you will collect the data of the class, you will write the names or you will count the number of girls or boys. So that data, what you are counting, is your raw facts and figures. And then, when you say, let's say the boys are 20 girls are 15 and the total number of students present are 35 and total number of students in class students in class 6 is let's say uh, 42 right so how many students are absent 42 are the total, 35 are present, so 42 minus 35 is 7, 7 students are absent. So when you collect the data in a raw facts and figure, that is data, then you organize the data, organization of data, and then what you do, you analyze the data, how many students are present in analyze and interpret the data interpret the data so why do we need uh, data see every now and then we need something or the other to be find out and every data we need like your mo mother says see how many uh, number of fruits are lying in the refrigerator go and search how many bottles are there in the uh, you know a refrigerator so all these things are actually the data. So we require every time the data. And once we organize the data, after that we draw the results out of that data. Organization of data. Now what is organization of data? Let's say you have banana, orange, apple, and guava in your food baskets and then you count the banana let's say you have you keep on ticking with one banana you count right then you count the oranges and you tick then you count the apple you every apple you count you put a tick to it now you now apart from calculating the you know guava bananas apple again you just have to count those ticks one two three four five six six bananas one two three oranges one two three four five five apples one two three four guavas so these are the number of fruits and the types of fruits that are there in your fruit basket so this is the organization of data when you compile the data and organize it properly we organize the data using the tally bars let's say one two three four and when we have to do count five we give it a cross then six seven eight nine and give a cross ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and give a cross fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19 and give across 20. So let's take a question on the organization of data. This is the question. Catherine threw a dice 40 times and noted the number appearing each time are shown below. Now we, you all have played Ludo and you know that what is dice. Okay. So th that dice has 1 to 6 numbers on it. So definitely the numbers would be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5 and 6. If we are throwing a dice, either 1 will come or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So he has thrown the dice 40 times. Now let's calculate how many times 1 appears. So we will be making the tally marks. Let's count, uh, count 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And we can write here the frequency. That how many times it has appeared? 7 times. Now let's uh, count how many times 2 has turned up on the dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. So this is 6 times. Let's see how many times 3 have come up in the dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 4, 1, 2, then 3 and let's count it again. It's 1, then 2. Then 3 and 4. So 4 times 4 has come. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. 5. Let's count 5. How many times 5 has come? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11. 6, how many times 6 have come? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 times. So in total we will calculate this would be 40 because he has thrown the dice 40 times. Now let's answer the question number A. What is it? The minimum number of times... Find the number that appeared the minimum number of times. Which uh, number appeared uh, least? The number is 4. 4 has appeared only 4 times. So the number is 4. B. The maximum number of times. Which number has appeared maximum number of times? 5. It has come maximum number of times. That is 11 number of times. 5. Find those numbers that appear an equal number of times. See, 1 and 6 have appeared equal number of times, that is 7 and 7. So, 1 and 6. So, this is how you do the organization of data. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.